Hello you lovely lot and welcome to day four of our Florida Orlando dockside trip. Um, it is just coming up for eight o'clock, it's about 8.45, uh, 7.45 and we're off to Discovery Cove today. We've only ever done that once before. So we're, so all, get some coves. we're all getting ready. Uh, we don't actually have any like extra stuff but like dolphin swims or sea venture but we might do sea venture if they've got any spots left. If not, it's just a really nice chilled day, you know, all the food's laid on, all the drinks laid on, and it's just a nice chilled day. The reef we love with all the fish and bits and pieces in there. So yeah, we are looking for a nice relaxing day. We're meeting our friends down there this morning. So as always, we're gonna take you lovely lot along with us. Right, so this is the entrance hall as you come into Discovery Cove. It is beautiful. And they've just told us that it's at capacity but it shouldn't feel too crowded because there's lots of space. Right, so we're just checking in. Because there is complimentary beer and wine with your ticket, they ID everybody that's over 21 on check-in, so I think that'll be replicated in the sort of wristband that you're given. Oh, so, so you don't get ID this way. Yeah, so that's basically your ID for the park, which is cool. So being, being a water park, you're, you know, you've got your swimmers on, you're not going to want to carry your passport around with you all day. I carry my passport everywhere, just in case, in the bar. If there's a place you can keep it, you know, while you're swimming, then I'm impressed. No wine for you today, I'm afraid. Yeah, you're the alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Right, we are all in. That was nice and easy. We've all got our lanyards. And I think we're gonna, oh yeah, fire. <laughs> and uh, what's the plan? Find somewhere to camp out first or breakfast? It's a seven of us. It might be worth trying to find somewhere we can all sit that's got a, maybe like got an umbrella, some shade. So we've got a good spot and then go get some breakfast. Good idea. I don't know if we have to get our vests first, so we'll right. check. It looks like it is going to be a beautiful morning. Right, we're all sort of checked in. We are down by the Otters and Marmosets, and this will give you an idea of what our area is going to be like for the day. So we've got these along here, and we've got this lovely little lagoon snacks and bits and pieces over here but it is super chill so what's nice about doing this sort of day midway through the holiday it gives everyone a bit of a chance to recharge because we've got a couple of busy days coming up so everyone's just going to suit themselves so me tracy and daisy where are we going can try and find a breakfast place and have some breakfast yeah oh my God, she's feeding the mama's hurt you gonna see him no because you have to get in the water <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready for the water it's yet. A big commitment. It's a big commitment early on in the day. Yeah. Well, what time is it also? Yeah, it's coming up for five tonight. So we're pretty much set up for the day. We've got our base sorted. And now it's just up for, you know, everyone to do what they want. Relax, chill, swim. Loving it. found somewhere to sit that's my breakfast a little bit disappointing I, I do feel a bit let down. go on because i feel well I'm, i don't eat meat and i'm allergic to eggs <laughs> so there um, there's not a lot for me but it makes me think like if you're vegan there's not a lot for you oh. If you're vegan, you can pretty for breakfast. That's your choice. Well, you can't even. We well, can't have that. You got the apple. But you can have that without the milk. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not really catering for. Yeah. yeah. But they used to do big fruit salads. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll have to really watch that video. Yeah. But they did. <laughs> uh, they did used to have a. I think this morning they've had like breakfast potatoes. But yeah. Um, Never mind. Milk. Yeah, lovely. You want some? No, there's a joke on this side. Can I read it to you? Yeah, go for it. Why did the chicken do jumping jacks? Wanted to scramble his eggs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> right, Daisy's feeling all right now because she's just opened up her Cheerios and... Love pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and the sun's out. It's going to be lovely. I'm oh, no, excited like for lunch. Yeah. Right, how are we doing? <laughs> Don't do that. What? That. Noise, 
So I haven't got a good light anyway, so you literally a silhouette. I just look like a flabby boy. Right, you've got your um, you got your gear on. Are you going, you going for a swim? Uh, yeah, I might dip my toes in the water. We saw an armadillo earlier. Really? Oh. Crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle. Armadillos! <laughs> the moment we came out with an armadillo. Really? No, she's done about that. Surprise encounter. What? Right. This build is a surprise encounter on board. Is it? Nine o'clock, yeah. It's an armadillo. Did you touch it? No. They're weird. Asleep. They're weird, aren't they? They're cool, I liked it. Nice. It was a three plated armadillo. Really? They actually have nine-bladed ones, native to uh, Florida. <laughs> nice. Or at least America. So you're going for a swim now? Yes, mate. Right, have fun. All day. Don't touch anything you shouldn't. Look at me. Look what you've done to your sister. What? That is not cool. Did you just put your top on her head? Yeah. Just like, right. I wore it this Right, we're all finished with breakfast. How was your breakfast? It's actually very tasty. There wasn't as much choice as before. I don't know if that's just since COVID and they're doing it slightly differently. Um, but what I had was very tasty. It was very nice. Disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I am. I think. Well, I think if you're a vegan and your option for breakfast is an apple, that's a bit disappointing. Well, I didn't ask. No, we didn't ask. But it wasn't made clear either. But I just didn't ask because I, I I get awkward. I'm not that kind of person. I can't be like. Vegan yeah, because you're not a vegan. Just, I'm not vegan, it's just easier. Yeah. Because then um, you don't eat meat or eggs. No, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, there's a vegan option. I, don't, I can't, I can't, I, I like freeze. <laughs> right, we've got our gear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, let's go. I tell you what, just walking around here, I can just feel myself just chilling out. Yeah, me too. I didn't realise I was like, needed that, but I can literally just feel chill. <sighs> I'd really like to go and feed some birds. Yeah, we're going to feed some birds I in a bit. All right, do you want to do that before we get in the water? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm in with that. Yeah. We're all wet suit up. I feel like Burt Reynolds in Deliverance. I feel like I need to start running. <laughs> huh? I feel like I should start running. Uh, oh, we're going to see the birds. Yeah. Right, we've just gone to see the birds. Turns out no birds today because of avian flu, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, what are you going to do? So this is like the snack bar where you just come and help yourself to slushies, snacks, fountain drinks. I think you have to ask the bartender for booze. But yeah, it's a really good offering. So they sleep about 20 hours a day. So there's like a four hour window which is up and we're like, operation people. Right, half past 10 on the complimentary plantains. We're going for a big swim in the big reef. Are you ready? Um, yeah, mate. Yeah? Yeah. We're going on a big dive. We're going on a bear hump. You can find a big one. Yeah. Excited? I like the cooker bar. Right, <laughs> are we going for a swim with the fish? Yes, I'm excited. Got that right, so this is the area where you can do like the dolphin swim. So there's some people out there having their dolphin experiences. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Right, Luke's dropped his snorkel in the water, in the sand already. It's kind. Of, I'm going in slowly. It's a bit chilly, but I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Right, you going in? Oh yeah. Enjoying this a lot more. <laughs> uh, they're big, aren't they? <laughs> oh, no. You know what it was? I think last time we did the sea venture. Uh, everything was like, oh, everything from there is fine. <laughs> now it's just massive. I'm having a bad time. <laughs> I'm going back in. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's kind of a bit more extreme. It feels more extreme than it did last time. Right. Let's no, go. No, I actually, I've, I've genuinely need like three minutes. They've got to do it. Is that whatever? There is. It's just because there's a couple of massive ones in there. That's a huge, fat <laughs> one. Oh my god, I'm gonna. That's too close.
apart from swallowing water, <laughs> this has got way better. Oh yeah, yeah. You just I'm to loving run. it yeah, now. You need to run yourself in. You've got to bed yourself in. It was a bit of a shock straight away coming in, seeing it's three oh. massive stingrays. Wait. Right, how are you feeling? You just swallowed a load of salt water, haven't you? A bit unwell. Okay. I need some sort of like pretzel. Let's go. <laughs> right, that was fantastic. It's coming up to quarter past eleven, and I think we're going to get a, a snack and a drink. Daisy's gone back. She has swallowed a fair amount of water and not feeling one hundred percent. But how was that? Great. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, that really at the beginning it really does sort of push the boundaries. You've got so to stick it out. yeah. Right, I'm going over there, I'm going to get a slushie. Get a slushie? Let's go and get some slushies. It's not cold enough. It is a bit chilly. Like an owl, one of them is the head pan. He could do 260 degrees. He's an owl. Right, it's quarter past one. It's a little bit overcast, but when the sun comes out, it is red hot. So we'd like for this cloud to blow over. Anyway, we go for a bit of a wander. So even though, even though the park today is at capacity, there's free sun loungers everywhere. Doesn't feel busy, doesn't feel crowded. I think that's one of the best things about this place. And this is one of the pools where they do the dolphin encounters. Uh, Luke and Daisy did one a couple of years ago, it's awesome. Here's a map of the whole place as you can see it's not massive which I really like so it's just we're sort of over this area here and it's just it's not big which is great so it doesn't take a lot of walking to get where you need to be and this is the Grand Reef this is where all the snorkeling happens all the fish all the rays swimming around Absolutely incredible and just over there is where you can do the sea venture. We did that a couple of years ago Tracy if you can remember stick a link to that one below But yeah, absolutely fabulous and This is like the dining room where you get all your food from serves up sort of buffet not buffet style But you just go and collect it like Quick serve ish, but it's all it doesn't taste like quick serve. It's all sort of cooked to cooked to order and freshly prepared But it's the height of lunchtime Plenty of spaces, plenty of empty tables. Right, excuse my dodgy curtains. It is half past two. We've just come down for lunch. Um, a little bit disappointed again. No salmon for Trace. I've got the chicken, so I'm fine. But obviously for Jay-Z, it means it's more limited for her for mouth of chicken. Yeah, so Jay-Z to cater very well for vegans or vegans or vegetarians. There's some stuff, but if it runs out, there's no other option. So it's quite difficult. Yeah. But what we've got all looks pretty good. That's Daisy's. That's Luke's. This is mine. Right, dinner done. I think the food's dropped off here a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. It was okay, but nothing great. Whereas before, it was like really, really good. Thoughts, Daisy? Um, I was really excited for the salmon. No salmon. No chicken now either. Someone... And, no, and no cheeseburgers. No. no. Chicken though. But, oh, but, oh, I like the chicken. It was oh, just dropped it. Oh, no. Is he on his own? Sorry, we just saw something very sad. A little boy just dropped his cake. We were making sure he's all right. Mum's on his way. On our way. Uh, how was yours? Well, it's very nice. Um, very tasty. Um, I think it's just me lacking a little bit because since COVID they're not allowing you to sort of do more of the self-serve bit. So they'll serve you up something. I just remember last time there was more of it, and you could add more sides. Um, yeah, I was supposed to salmon as well. The chicken was very nice. Cool. Luke, what do you think? Yeah. The cake was good. Your little chocolate. What? Uh, two puds. Keepy two puds over here. Yeah. I didn't know what the other pudding was like, because that was gone <laughs> immediately. It was okay. Uh, yeah, you know. No such thing as a free lunch. It's fuel. <laughs> yeah, it's free. It's free. Oh, it's not free, is it? You know, it's free. We got paid to eat it. So, uh, we can let our dinner go down, like you have to do at school, where you have to... <laughs> That's not a thing, is it? I'm going straight in. Um, we're going to go out on the Grand Reef again. Can't wait. Right, we've had a lovely afternoon. It's coming up for quarter to five. The sun's had his hat on. I think we might have all caught the sun a little bit, to be honest. Um, SeaWorld do provide special sun cream that's like animal friendly, because you are in the water in, it, in their envi environment. 
I didn't really put any on so I didn't like the look of it. I made you <laughs> look like you're going to swim the channel so I've burnt my feet which is not ideal. Anyway we've been in the Grand Reef this afternoon, had a lovely swim and just take a look at this place. It is just wonderful. So if you are coming you don't need to bring sunscreen, use it and you don't need to bring towels, that's all laid on as well. So yeah, just rock up. It has been fantastic. The food was a little bit, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good as it has been in previous visits. So we're gonna round ourselves up, call an Uber, get back to resort. Right, it is 7.45. We've all had a nice chill in the room. Is everyone a little bit sunburnt? Yes. <laughs> oh, sun <kiss>. I am <laughs> sunburnt. Okay. You are looking a bit red on the face. <laughs> So we have got a late dinner at Cowfish tonight, which is one of our favourites. Especially with this one here. You love I it, don't you? It is one of my favourite restaurants in Orlando. Yeah. But I think it's because I love sushi. Yeah. yeah. So we are heading over there. Um, so we're going to wander down. Uh, the reservation is for quarter to nine, which is late for us. But yeah. That's all we could get. That's <laughs> all we could get because we're travelling as a seven. So it yeah. is, you know. It's harder. It is harder. So um, yeah, we're gonna head down, get the bus to City Walk. So Dockside also has a very nice shop. Yeah, so I don't spend much time in this time. I haven't been in it all, all week. But yeah, we got some Jurassic Park stuff. That t-shirt's pretty cool. Flip flops. I like the branding here as well. Yeah, you do, don't you? Last time, I think I might have to purchase that before the week is out. It's a good colour. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, but all the branding here is really nice. Yeah. If you've forgotten your swimming cosy, nice t-shirts. Loving the ET. Hello. Who's your friend? Shrek. <laughs> I want this gingerbread man. It's a really good shop, this. Feels more like a shop that would be on a park. <laughs> Loads of pins. Oh, we found the sweets. <laughs> There's chocolate covered gummy fish, which is like chocolate covered Swedish fish. Peanut butter full pretzels. Oh, they look great. Oh, they sell these on this park, don't they? Yeah. They're really good. Chocolate covered sandwich cookies. One of the best things about this shop, it's got a whole sort of corner to it, well a quarter of it is dedicated to Harry Potter and it's all sort of themed as well. So yeah, it's got wands, it's got sorting hats, it's got plushes, yeah it's like a whole little shop all yeah in its own right really, it's really cool. Pop sockets, luggage tags, t-shirts, cushions, yeah it's great. You want that? It's not the first time you pick one of these up, is it? And I know you've used this before, but you can help with the washing <coughs> up. Hmm? You can help with the washing up. Yeah. Because? It's a teat <laughs> Right, we're all through security. My belt sets everything off. That's so annoying. Every time. Every time. Then you have to take your belt off, thread it through, a bit of a palaver, but we are through on the Travelator, walking into City Walk. I love this place. Yeah, it's a really good feel about these lights at night. I love it. Yeah. Right, so a Saturday night coming up for quarter to nine. It is heaving. Right, all here at Cowfish. Pretty hectic. Yeah, we've got a 
table, we're outside where we like to be, and lovely view. We're currently in the world's most noisiest restaurant. Daisy's gone for some dips. Luke's gone for some dips. You go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, the food's out, smelling delicious. Daisy's got some soup. Daisy's got some Right, time to dig in. Right, we've had a lovely meal in Cowfish. It is 5 to 11 and we're heading back and it is still heaving. Really busy. We are all back in the room. It is 10 to 12. A bit of a bust nightmare tonight. That was um, not ideal, but universal. You have been outstanding with buses up until tonight but that was a bit chaotic this evening however the parks are they seem to be really really busy but we are back in the room we are going to get straight in, brush our teeth get straight into bed because tomorrow we are back on the parks um, and we have got express passes so tomorrow we are picking up um we've checked into the royal we we will be checking into um royal pacific which is one of uh, Universal's premium resorts because when you do that you get uh, we're booking in for one night but you get two nights express pass so it actually works out better value than um, getting two lots of express pass individually hope that made sense I feel like I'm rambling a bit um, so yeah we're doing that tomorrow so Daisy and I are going to pop over to the resort in the morning check in we're not actually going to use the rooms and then meet up with the rest of the gang and hit some parks with some express passes so thanks very much for following along today. I know we're all a bit red and tanned. I can see, I'm not showing you my foot. My foot is well bad. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, ears. <laughs>